Hello students. In this topic, we are going to talk about defining human resource management and international human resource management from the course of international human resource management. Before we start talking about or defining international human resource management, first of all, we would like to define what is human resource management. As HR students, you would definitely know, but just to brush up your knowledge, human resource management refers to all those activities that are undertaken by an organization to effectively manage its human resources. Koi bhi organization apne logon ko, apne employees ko, apne human resource ko behtar tarikay se manage karne ke liye jo steps uthati hai, jo activities karti hai, jo processes undertake karti hai, wo sab human resource management ke domain mein fall karte hai. So let's see human resource management ki kya kya activities hai. Human resource management activities involve, first of all, human resource planning. Obviously, that has to be the first step. You need to understand how much human resources do you need, what type of people do you need, what type of people are available, what skills, knowledge, and abilities are required by your organization. So for that, you do human resource planning. Then the second activity that you undertake in HR is staffing. Staffing involves recruitment and selection. Recruitment and selection involve appointing and selecting those people who are fit to perform the activities and tasks of your organization. The third activity is performance management. Once you have selected your human resource, then you need to make an evaluation about their performance, that they keep on performing and they keep on maintaining a certain level of performance. So that is the third activity, performance management. The fourth activity is training and development, which is an overarching activity. It is not a stepwise process. You go into training and development from the start of the career of a person to the end of the career and throughout their life, uh, their lifetime in an organization. So training and development is the fourth activity in which you do things, you undertake those activities that are done to improve the knowledge, skills, and abilities of your human resources. The fifth activity, and the very important one for the employee as well as for the organization, is about the cost and how much you are going to pay your human resources, and that is compensation and benefits. How much you are going to compensate them, in what type of proportion, in what type of uh, whether you are going to give them salaries or benefits or certain other allowances, how you are going to divide and make proportions of that. That is the fifth activity of human resource management. And the sixth activity is industrial relations, in which you undertake all those activities that are for creating, a, uh, creating an environment which is congenial for your employees and for your organization, creating a culture which is congenial for your employees and for your organization. So these are the six activities, major activities of human resource management. Now, when human resource management goes into the domain of international human resource management, there are basically three approaches to deal with international human resource management. One of that approach is talking about cross-cultural management that is related with the behavior of people that are 
belonging to different cultures of this world. The second approach is about comparing human resource and industrial relations systems in various countries, uh, in which what you look at is that مختلف organizations جب مختلف countries میں جا کے کام کرتے ہیں تو وہاں پہ کیسے ایچ آر سسٹمس ویری کرتے ہیں تو ان کا کمپیرزن کرنا اور ان کو آپس میں ریلیٹ کرنا دیٹ از دا سیکنڈ اپروچ ٹو انٹرنیشنل ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ اینڈ دا تھرڈ ون وچ اینکمپسز بوتھ آف دیز اپروچز اینڈ آل ادر آسپیکٹس آف انٹرنیشنل ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ از IHRM in the multinational context. So multinational context is the most important context for international human resource management because that is most relevant in which uh, you are managing human resources in the multinationals. Obviously, multinationals wo organizations hain jo mukhtalif uh, countries mein operate karte hain. سو انہی کے کانٹیکسٹ میں آپ انٹرنیشنل ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ کی بات کریں گے سو دس از دا تھرڈ اپروچ وچ انڈر ٹیکس انٹرنیشنل ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ ان دا ملٹی نیشنل کانٹیکسٹ ان آرڈر ٹو برنگ دا انٹرنیشنل کانٹیکسٹ ٹو ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ مارگن ہیز گیون اے تھری ڈی ماڈل دیٹ تھری ڈی ماڈل انکلوڈس تھری ڈائمینشنس تھری ڈی سے آپ سمجھ سکتے ہیں کہ کیا مراد ہے تھری ڈی از تھری ڈائمینشنل سو تھری ڈائمینشنل ماڈل آف ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ جس میں ایک طرف تو ہم نے یہ دیکھ لیا جب ہم ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ کی بات کر رہے تھے کہ کتنی ایکٹیویٹیز ہیں سو ایک ڈائمینشن تو ایکٹیویٹیز کی آ گئی جس میں مارگن ہیز ڈیفائنڈ ہیومن ریسورس ایکٹیویٹیز انٹو تھری کیٹیگریز which are procurement, allocation, and utilization. The second dimension of this model is the type of countries in which, uh, in which multinationals operate. Uh, there are three types of countries. One is host country, where subsidiary may be located. The second one is the parent country. And the third one is other countries where there may be source of labor, input, or capital. So, and the third dimension is that where the employees are coming from. So, there could be parent company nationals, uh, parent country nationals from where the organization has got its headquarters. The second is host country na uh, nationals where the organization goes and starts its subsidiaries. And then third country nationals, which are hired from other countries other than the parent country or the host country. So if you look at the model in a diagram form, you can see that this is a uh, model which is three-dimensional, in which you can see that the first dimension is the dimension of human resource activities procure, allocate, and utilize. The second dimension is that of the countries in which there is the home country, the host country, and other countries. And the third dimension is that of type of employees with which we are most uh, concerned about. And those are parent country nationals, host country nationals, and third country nationals. Now, when we talk about these parent country nationals, host country nationals, and third country nationals, that creates another concept. And that concept is that of an expatriate. We will be talking a lot about expatriate in international human resource management. So what is an expatriate? An expatriate is an employee who is working and temporarily residing in a foreign country. سو آپ نے ایکسپیٹریٹ کا ورڈ بہت سنا ہوگا ایکسپیٹریٹ وہ شخص ہے جو اپنی ملک کو چھوڑ کے کسی دوسرے کنٹری میں جا کے امپلائمنٹ حاصل کرتا ہے اور وہاں پر کام کر رہا ہے اور ٹیمپریلی وہاں پر ریزائڈ کر رہا ہے سو وی آر کنسرن اباؤٹ دی کانسیپٹ آف ایکسپیٹریٹ 
Expatriate is usually considered a person who is going from the parent country to a host country. But actually, all the people who are moving across the three types of countries are expatriates. So from over here, you can see that a person who is moving from the parent country to the subsidiary operations is a parent country national who goes to a host country. A person who moves from a host country to a parent country that is called a host country national and that is also an expatriate. And then third country nationals who move between one subsidiary and the other, those are also called expatriate. So international human resource management is concerned about expatriate management. Now bringing it all together, if we conclude what human resource management is, so the field of international human resource management covers three major domains. Number one, all issues related to people management, yani logon ko aapne international context mein kis tarah manage karna hai. Secondly, a wide range of HR issues facing multinational enterprises in different parts of the organization. And thirdly, comparative analysis of HRM in different countries. You compare how human resource management is conducted in various different countries. That is an over-encompassing definition of international human resource management.